teardrop trailer man here in the dark. Got this counter all in right here. And then I've gotten this counter over here in. And I've encased my wine rack. So <clears throat> the wine rack kind of looks like this now. Let's see, see the wine rack here. It needs a door. Um, I've got to put a door on. And then I still have to put some foam up on the top. The two inches of foam on the top here. Uh, but it's almost ready to go. That it's looking really good. I got my beam in. This is uh, the beam that's going to actually hold the actual uh, the actual hinge, the hurricane hinge for the for the back door. Um, I've got some aluminum on top here. I finally got my aluminum, and that was the hardest thing to get so far in this entire thing. Um, man, it's, it was a trouble. It went down to. Uh, the, when I reported to to that teardrop festival that was in uh, I think it was what it was Devil Island no Treasure Island Treasure Island and some lady she had restored a, a what they call a canned ham which is bigger than a teardrop and uh, said where'd you get your aluminum and the guy ended up being a mile and a half from my house and it was a great price four hundred and six dollars which sounds like a lot which it is. But what I was getting quoted was over a thousand, so that saved me a ton of money right there. So now I had to figure out how to cut it. So I went on YouTube because I'd never cut this stuff. It, the the piece that's on top here is five feet wide, so that's pretty wide. Um, so I was looking and I was looking, and I came up with this a, a jigsaw. Seemed like the best way uh, to actually cut it, and so I cut it. Look at that edge. It's so crooked. Looks like a drunken sailor. Look at that. So what did I do? I called Lena. That's right there, you know. I called Lena and she told me, hey there, Paul, you know what you should do is you could uh, you could get your skill saw there, you know, and put in a metal blade and you get a nice straight edge, you know, and you could do worse, you know. So that's what I did. Got my skill saw here, put it in the metal blade, cut the aluminum. And then you can see this edge now. Look at that. That's a beautifully straight edge. So the other thing that I've had trouble with is I've been having trouble finding some pieces that are going to encase the door. So while I was at it, I went ahead and I thought, what the heck? Why don't I cut myself some little pieces there, you know? Really good there. Yep. So I've got my pieces for my door um, that I couldn't find because my door is just a little wider than most doors because it's uh, insulated. So that that uh, that was kind of a, a problem. So now I got my countertop here. Let me get back and get a good look at this countertop. So I put this countertop in, and the problem I was having is right here in the wine rack. If I took this countertop across here, I couldn't use this bottom. I couldn't use that bottom part right there for it. So what I did is I created the countertop here because I wanted to create these extensions, so you'd have more counter space. Out on the road to get, yeah, have some more counter space there. And so uh, so I left this this other part kind of recessed. Put in a little drawer here for utilities and uh, utensils, that kind of thing. And then I'm going to make a removable uh, cutting board that fits on the top of there. And it's going to fit right inside here so that when it's all together, um, it's going to look real nice. I'm going to cover this these countertops probably with either copper or aluminum. I haven't decided yet. Um, I think I'm going to do copper though. Copper sounds like it might be some fun to do that. So that's what I've been doing. And one thing that I don't have is I don't have really a beer. I got Lagunitas this, this time right now, um, which I'm working through a case of that, but I do have a dogfish update. Um, Trudy gave me some dogfish, which was really nice. Thank you, Trudy. And she gave me two six-packs, or two four-packs. Um, but my neighbor just had a birthday, so I decided I'd buy him some. And it, one thing that was uh, uh, kind of a surprise is the price has gone down, and quite a bit, like $4. So that was nice. And then, uh, so he, he tried it, and he said he was an IPA guy, and he tried the beer, and he said, wow, maybe I'm an IPA guy. It's some good stuff, that dogfish. Anyway, I just got the regular, what I would call the Paps Blue Ribbon of IPAs. Yeah, Lagunitas. Although they have been purchased by somebody else, and the first thing they did was raise their price $2 a six-pack. Huh. Anyway.
Teardrop Trailer Man out.